Um, you know, um, yeah, my name is Anton Oliver. I am the founder of Head Smart Marketing Academy. And the purpose of this webinar today is basically going to see and show you how we can help serious business owners to generate more leads, close more clients, get more sales, increase their overall revenue. But with a little bit of a snag in the fact is that we are going to show you how you can do that without spending additional money on marketing or advertising. And if you implement what we are going to show you, we can guarantee that you will generate those leads consistently that can uh, um, that can produce the results that you uh, that you're looking for. So uh, so yeah, okay. Uh, it's five minutes past the hour. Um, shall we kick off, uh, um, Sanjeev? I am going to uh, to get the whole process going. I don't want to spend. Yeah, too much yeah, time. that's that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, and then go ahead. Okay. Right, guys, as I was saying, my name is Anton Oliver. I'm the uh, founder of Headsmart Marketing Academy. And the purpose of today's webinar is I want to show serious business owners how to generate clients, close more sales, and increase their overall revenue without spending additional money on marketing or advertising. So that is the purpose of our webinar today. So... I'm guessing that most of you guys have been on webinars before. And I want to basically make it clear right from the start of this webinar is on this webinar, there's nothing to sell. We don't sell anything. You don't have any to buy anything. What we are going to do is give you an opportunity to think about what you want to do in your business and to make the decision whether you want to take on opportunities that is available to you to grow your business to the next level. Okay, if you've failed before in lead generation, okay, let me explain this to you. It's not your fault, okay? Don't blame yourself, it is not your fault. And let me put those fears to rest as well. Whatever you've learned so far about marketing, and how to generate leads, it's all wrong. Trust me when I say this to you, and I'm going to prove this to you. And it is not working anymore. Okay? And that is why I'm here. Because I'm going to show you the techniques and the strategies and the systematic process that I've used and still use today to generate more leads your business can handle without spending any additional money on marketing or advertising, even if you have got no budget at all, I'm still going to show you how you can achieve that. Okay, so here's the thing. What will you get from today? Today, I want to help two types of business owners. Number one, I want to help business owners that are new to lead generation. Because what you're going to do in this is, is you're going to discover a completely new framework that has, it will totally transform the way you do lead generation. That's my promise to you. But I also want to speak and help seasoned business owners. Because what you will discover today is how to leverage what you're already doing and increase results dramatically. So we're gonna take, we're gonna show you how you can take what you currently are doing in your marketplace. You might not getting the results that you're looking for, but we're gonna show you ways how you can leverage that, implement what we're gonna show you, and then get the results and it will take you to the next level. So what is my goal for today? Okay, in the next 60 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes, my goal is to get you to believe that you will be able to generate more leads for your business and generate more leads that you can handle. Close more sales and achieve that without spending additional money on marketing or advertising. That is what I want you to show you, and I want you to believe that, that this is exactly what you're going to do, because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to show you proof that it works. I'm going to show you a proprietary framework 
that has taken me almost four years to perfect that will make this absolute child's play to achieve that de desired result. And I'm going to show you how you can take your ideas that you have or the plan that you have in your business and how you can make that a reality and build that on a successful foundation. Okay, so what makes me qualified to do this? Okay, in the past four years, I've had opportunities to meet some amazing business owners. And I was fortunate enough to work with a lot of them and to share this framework with them. Now, before pre-COVID, I mainly used to coach internationally uh, in the US and Canada. And I was very privileged to work with some very, very substantial companies in the US. Okay, but most importantly, I've also been able to help those business owners to achieve the results they wanted by Im implementing the framework and get them great results. Because at the end of the day, results is what is uh, what is important and the main thing is you, you know results your success that i can help you to achieve also powers my success and that's very important to me okay we're probably different in the way in the method that we coach because trust me when i say this i know what it feels like i know what it feels like to be a young business owner and you work day and night and you still don't have the clients coming through the door. You st your, your, your marketing campaigns is not doing what it's supposed to do. You're having sleepless nights, worrying about where you're going to get your next client from. No one is listening to your messaging. No one is listening to your message. So... I know how that feels like. I know what that feels like because I was there. So let me tell you a real quick story. And trust me when I say to you, I know where you might be right now because I was once in your shoes. You see about eight, nine years or so ago, um, I was in the unfortunate position where I lost everything, everything. We just couldn't recover from the economic downturn when we had a, 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 a seven-figure telecommunications business in 2009 and 10. And we, when, that, when that economic bust happened, we just couldn't, we couldn't recover from that. So about, I think it was about 2013, 14, I literally lost everything. So I had to start all over again and I thought, well, you know, with my experience, I will be able to find a job real quick. And to my horror, after 2,783 CVs, it didn't work. And I realized that I was unemployable. And a very good friend of mine turned around and said to me, why don't you teach people what you know? But it wasn't that easy in the fact is that I've always been part of big companies. I've always led big companies from where they were to, you know, to another level. And you've got a whole team around you. And it's a very big, very big difference when you start your own business. It's a very lonely business. But here it is. What happened was not so much as what happened to me. It's what happened. My life happened for me because it made me realize. But I had to climb the ladder. I had to go through the rough and the smooth. And I found myself year no i didn't work for tesco's when i lost everything my wife and i was actually temporary homeless and where that red car that's not my car by the way but that's where we slept for two nights because we didn't have anywhere to go we lost everything but i was fortunate enough when my my kids saw an opportunity and they gave me probably the best Christmas present that I could ever have asked for at that time of my life. You can imagine how it is to be in your 50s and you lose everything. And I was fortunate enough to spend one day with this guy. You can Google him. He is the number one uh, 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 um, business and wealth coach in the world. 
the guy by the name of J.T. Fox. And this is where my life changed. This is where I had the light bulb moment. And I was fortunate enough to spend that one day with him. Just one day, I had the opportunity with I could listen to someone that can show me where I need to go. And that's exactly what he did. So here's why you can trust me. From that day onwards, I knew where I wanted to be. And I started developing my framework. And I became, within a very short space of time after that specific day, I became a certified international business coach. I also became the author of two books. I was featured in the Small Business Breakthrough magazine, where they've actually taken the framework that I'm going to show you today and featured it in the Small Business Breakthrough magazine in the US. So I've been where you are. I know what it takes to be rock bottom and to climb the ladder to get where you want to be. Because at some point in our life, we all decided we want to start a business. We want to take control of our life. I know what that feels like. I know the loneliness. I know the trials and tribulations that we're going through, the expectations we have, and then all of a sudden it doesn't happen. That's why I designed this framework. And I started building this framework, and it took me about two years to perfect this. So let me introduce you to a guy called Paul Mugan. The first time that I spoke to Paul Mugan, he said to me, well, you know what, Anton, I do have 60 minutes to come to one of your master classes. But you know what, I don't think that you'll be able to teach an old dog new tricks. But I'm going to come and listen anyway. At that point in time, he just started his new business, his own consulting company. This is what he had to say about what we showed him. Before I started my own business, I was business development director of a billion dollar company. If I'd known the same, some of the processes that I've learned from Anton and his team, we could have been at two billion. Paul is still using our framework in his business today. Okay, so now you can ask, but how do I know I can use these strategies? So let me show you. If you have no technical or marketing experience, then this is for you. If you're a startup company with no marketing strategy or plan, or you don't know where to start, then this is for you. If you don't have money or don't have a marketing budget or any money at all that you can invest in either marketing or advertising, not a problem, then this is for you. And if you already have a business, but your marketing is not producing the results, then this is definitely for you. Because trust me, this is the kind of scenes and this is the kind of joy that you will have when you understand how to accomplish this. And I'm going to show you that framework. So, right, let's kick off. What is the five steps? the systematic process and framework that, this, that makes this amazing opportunity up. Number one, we're looking at the three Cs. Now, you might ask, what the hell are you talking about, three Cs, Anton? Now, let me show you this. The three Cs is the first one is what we call clarity. If you don't have clarity in your mind where you are right now, and where you want to be in 12 months time, how in God's name would you be able to plan your business and build a roadmap and a framework in how to achieve the goal that you set for yourself in 12 months time? You have to have clarity. You have to know exactly where you are and where you want to go. Because only then can you build the roadmap in how to get there. The second one is confidence. You've got to believe in yourself. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you don't have clarity, clarity leads to chaos. 
Because if you don't have clarity, you lose confidence. Your mindset goes. And you get confused within yourself. You don't trust yourself. And that is, you can't give it 100% commitment to get where you want to go. Because it's only through clarity, confidence, and commitment that you can transform your ideas and your promises into reality. Wise words spoken by Abraham Lincoln. That is the number one thing that you have to do. And I don't care whether you are an online business, whether you're a bricks and water business, whether you're a network marketing business, whatever industry you're in, if you don't have the three C's, you will always, always struggle because you don't know where you're going. It's like me coming to you and saying to you, here's a big shopping bag. It's full of ingredients. And what I want you to do is I want you to build, make a fruitcake. I want a fruitcake for Christmas, but there's no recipe. There's no nothing in there. I think you will agree with me that what will come out of the oven ain't going to be a very pleasant fruitcake. I certainly know if I don't have a recipe for it, it won't be pleasant. Well, what if I give you a recipe? In the bag is a recipe and a step-by-step -step guide and roadmap in what you have to do with your ingredients to build the most perfect cake. Now, if we've never baked cake before, I know that it will probably not be perfect, but you know what? You'll get there. You will get there. And that's important. That is very, very important. Now, the next element of the five-step framework is, what is your niche? What does your ideal customer look like? If you don't know what your ideal customer looks like, how can you serve them? Because if you don't know what they look like, you don't know what their problem is. And here's the key thing, guys. This is the definition of successful lead generation. You, every single prospect out there has got a problem they do not want. You have the solution they need, but do not have. So unless you can identify who it is that you're serving and what he looks like, how can you make him an offer? How can you offer him a solution to solve his problem? You can't. And this is one element where most small businesses fall flat. We're going to go a little bit deeper into that further in the presentation. Okay, the third element is your market dominating position. Okay, and how to create a lead magnet. You've got to develop a market dominating position where you can outsell and outperform your competition. But you can't do that by just saying we're the best. It doesn't work because most the biggest mistake that most businesses make in their marketing is they fill their marketing full of jargon. And they, because their marketing is full of jargon, there's only one thing that the prospect can do is they can to compare you on price. And if you compete on price, you're doomed. I can tell you that right now. And you have to have a lead magnet so that you can say to your prospect, this is what I can offer you. And your prospect can say, hang on a second. I want to know more about this. I, I want to find out more. And they become a lead. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. The fourth thing, how to build a strategic partnership network and a sales team and get access to your potential clients by using strategic partnerships. And here's a key thing, guys. To build a sales force in your own company will cost you a lot of money. To do that through strategic partnership networks is free. Because nine out of 10 times, or I would say 99.9% .9 of the times, it's a revenue share agreement. And that 
is how you can build and grow a sales team without having to spend any money on it. Okay, how to write messages that people will respond to. Now, here's the key thing. Okay, here's the key thing. You can go and you can basically, and most, most small businesses make this mistake. I did it as well. I used to go out and look at social media and I used to post, 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 post every day. I didn't even get views, didn't get likes. People didn't comment. And I spent all that hours and I'm not getting some responses. I'm not getting people connecting with me. And I know that you guys are doing the same because most small business owners do. It's not posting that's wrong. It's the message. And I'm going to show you examples now of, of how that works and why that is vitally important. So how do you become a master in generating leads consistently? How do you become that master? Now, you have two options. You can utilize repetition marketing, which most people are doing. But the most, the most the biggest problem with that is, guys, is you can only be successful in repetition marketing when you have a budget of 100, 200, 300, 500, a million quid. Because the main thing is, and, and, and one of my clients in the States that I work with, you know, they had like almost a half a million, half a million dollar budget. And when I asked them, I said, what is your ROI on your marketing? They basically say, well, what are you talking about? We just write it off. And that's crazy. Because if you spend a dollar on marketing, at least you want five dollars back. That's how you have to think about it. Not transactional, but transformational. The next thing is you can, can do you, you can continue doing what you're doing now and getting the same results. Or you can implement the strategic formula and the processes that you can position in front of your ideal customer at the right time and in the right order. And when you implement that processes, it will change the business and it will change your life. Okay. So let's have a quick look at the three things every business owner must know. And if you've got a paste and paper and pen, make some notes because this is important. Now let's have a look at this as an example. You're building a new home. Okay. So when you build a home, you follow a specific outline, blueprint, and plan. That's what's important. You've got to have a plan. Otherwise, you can't build a house. Well, you can, but it won't last very long. You've got to know what the foundation is. You've got to build that strong foundation because you've got to build everything on top of it. Now, a business is no different. People ask me sometimes, yeah, but my business is struggling and everything like that. And I use this analogy and say to him, well, when you met your wife and you got married, you planned your marriage, you planned how you're going to, what your life's going to be like. You're going to buy a house. You're going to have kids. Okay. You're going to want to be, do this for your kids. You plan that. And then you start a business and you look at, well, we need to buy this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and that. And you say, how am I going to do, how are we going to get customers? And you don't know and you don't plan that. And that's what most businesses do, unfortunately. I did it myself. With all my experience and knowledge building two seven-figure companies, I did that. I made that mistake myself. So one of them, uh, you know, as with most blueprints, there are three major considerations that you must address to create a dream home. The foundation that, it's, that it is built upon. Same thing with a business. You've got to build the foundation on which you're going to build your business. Okay? You've got to look at the overall structure. So there's the walls, the roof, create, defines the interior living space when you build a home. Same thing with your business. You've got to define the overall structure of your business. What it is that you're offering, what it is that you can do, what problems can you solve? And then thirdly, the basic components that complements the structure as the plumbing, wiring, and so on. And in a business is your offer and the value that you can provide your prospect 
so that you don't have to compete on price. Because here's the thing, you never compete on price, but always create value. Because I can tell you this right now, if you create value, you will never compete on price. And people will pay you for your solutions. People will pay you any price. So what is the secret behind successful lead generation? And I want you guys, if you've got a pen and paper, please write this down. Because this will form the cornerstone of everything else that you're going to do in your business. Marketing has two very important elements. Now, I want to make sure that you understand this. Marketing is not sales. Marketing is the delivery by using technical means of the message that you have for your client. Marketing does the heavy lifting for you so that your salespeople can go and take the order. That's the key element of successful lead generation and marketing. Now, there's two components. The first component is tactical marketing. It's the vehicle. Facebook, LinkedIn, trade shows like this one, a virtual trade shows, networking events. Those are the vehicle to deliver the strategic marketing element, which is the message. Now, here's the problem. Most small businesses use tactical marketing. And that's why the marketing is not working. You have to have both. You have to have both. It's like I, I can use the, uh, use the example of a vehicle, of a car. We all know it has to have fuel in it. But the engine won't work if there's no oil in it. The car will cease. Marketing is exactly the same. You can post on Facebook and LinkedIn and all those people. You can put as many ads in the paper as you want. But if the message is not right, it won't work. Exactly the same. But here's how you can solve it. The lead generation formula consists of four elements. This is what you need to write down. Number one is called interrupt. Number two is called engage. Number three is called educate. And number four is called offer. If you don't have those four elements in everything that you do within your business, you will always remain on the brink of failure. I know it's a bold statement, but I've been there. I've done it. I've tried it. It didn't work until I perfected the formula that I'm giving you right now. And I'm going to show you how this works. And, you, and I want you to write down on a piece of paper what difference it will make in your business. If you implement some of the stuff that we have already talked about. Okay. And we're going to come to that right now. Now. The most, you must implement these elements and you got to implement this in your communications, your marketing campaigns, your posts and everything. Like you've got to keep that format because that's how the human brain works. But we haven't got time to go into that right now. If you do that, this will create, if you use the interrupt, the engage, the educate and the offer, that creates a market dominating position within your industry okay okay so i'm going to give you five elements that i want you to focus on and i want you to write this down number one is you've got to nail your niche you've got to decide where is it that you th that you want to operate in who is your ideal prospect then you've got to look at what is my message and then you've got to decide what we call decide your ocean. Now, let me explain what that means. When you've got to decide your ocean, I mentioned to you earlier before, you've got to understand and you've got to realize what is who is my ideal customer? What does he look like? Because if I can't find my ideal customer and know what he looks like, okay, how old is he? What books does he read? All that kind of stuff. And it's easy to figure out, okay? It's like this. Imagine yourself just for one moment as being a fisherman. 
and you want to fish for tuna. You don't buy a boat. Go to the bait shop and buy a big bucket of bait. Get on the boat, fill it up and just head out to the ocean and throw down your hooks and think, I'm going to catch tuna. Well, what happened is, is you'll catch mackerel, you'll catch herring, you'll catch this, that and the other, but you won't catch tuna. Why? Because that's not the area where your ideal prospect hangs out. There's no tuna in that water. But if you decide and you know exactly what you want to do, where they hang out, where can I find them? You'll realize, okay, if I buy bait that is for tuna and I go outside of the bay, turn right, and just around the cove, I'm going to park there and that's where the tuna is. And you go there and you throw your hook in and every time you just go bang, 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 and you're catching tuna like crazy. Why? Because you throw the hook out. What is the hook? Your message. What is the bait? The solution. So you throw it out, you hook them, you give them a solution, and that's how you bring your ideal prospect within your business. That's why you need to decide what is your ocean. The second, fourth one is decide the framework. Decide your plan. What is it that you're offering? What is your offer that you're going to offer them? And guys, to turn around and say, you know, my stake, my hook, okay, is I can help small businesses generate leads without spending money on marketing and advertising. That's my hook. My story is how I got there. The offer that I make to you is come to my webinar. That is how a hook story in clothes works, a hook story offer works. So when you've, when you've done that, okay, when you've decided your ocean, you know what your message is, and you know what your niche are, and you now have a plan and a framework, now you can fill your pipeline. Because here's the thing. If you don't have any leads coming into your business, and trust me when I say to you, they're not going to walk through the front door. And if they don't, small businesses result in buying lists. They're buying data and everything. And you know what? They put it in email campaigns in the front stone don't ring. It's because of everything that I've just showed you. Okay? Because you can't make, if you can't have leads, you don't, can't make sales. If you don't make sales, you don't make revenue. If you don't make revenue, you don't make profit. And the result is your business fails. Right, just a little bit of information for you. The effectiveness rating of B2B social media platforms. Look what's right at the top, LinkedIn. I don't see LinkedIn as a social media platform. LinkedIn to me is a networking platform. Okay, but we'll come to, come to that a little bit later. Okay, so let me show you why lead generation is failing. And I want you to keep in mind, and I want you to think about your own business right now or the business that you are looking to start, or whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you why lead generation is failing and what the common problem is among small business, but also I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so here's a perfectly nice website, very well, very well designed and everything. But here's the thing. Remember the four elements that I told you to write down? The interrupt, engage, educate, and offer. Number one, where's the interrupt? They don't tell me what their niche is. They don't tell me who they are serving. They just basically say supporting health, spinal health. I've got problems in my neck. There's a chiropractor. Okay. And my lower back. But there's nothing that attracts me to them other than two things that they put on their website. And this is why 99% of businesses have websites that they have built that cost them thousands, but it's not producing one single lead. And all the call to action that they got is there is call us or a re request an appointment. I just want to speak to somebody. I want some information. And the, the thing is, what you have to understand, when people land on your website, you've got eight seconds to capture their attention. 
If you don't capture their attention in eight seconds, they will click the red cross in the top right corner and they're gone. Guaranteed, do a search on, web, on, on Google and you'll, think, you, you'll, you'll get the answer on that. You have to capture their attention in eight seconds. Here's a business consultancy. The only call to action that they have on the site or information, something that I can have a look at, is called. Because you've got to remember something, guys. People are not going to explore and spend a half an hour on your website trying to find what they're looking for. They're not. They will click off your website. And that's very, very important to understand why you need to implement these elements that I'm showing you. Okay, last one. And this was actually one of our clients. There's a case study that we did. We've changed the name, obviously, it's not Dr. Smith. But what they did was when we first spoke to them is they were child, he was a child psychologist. He was trying to build a practice. He was spending an awful amount of money on advertising. But this is what his advertising looked like. Okay. Now, the main thing is, if you look at this and the others, there's no sign of the four elements of the formula, the interrupt, educate, engage, educate, and offer. It's nowhere here to be seen. Okay. The only thing that they have here is free consultations. Call now. But the other thing that you can also look in here is he didn't define the niche. They didn't, I, they didn't define who the ideal client is, who the ideal prospect is. They basically saying we specialize in and they gave a whole list of things. Now, here's the thing. If you try to serve everyone, you'll end up serving no one. Guaranteed, that's what will happen. You have to niche down by knowing exactly what your ideal prospect looks like. And in this, there was no sign of the four-step formula. Now, when they originally did that, they were getting about, they were getting about 30 leads coming through the door of which they would close one. Very, very, very small return. Now I'm going to show you how lead generation is successful all the time with your website. Okay, but whatever you do on your website, it filters through on everything else that you do. So have a look at this. That's what we changed. But if you look at number one, interrupt, they realized that they specialize in children with behavioral problems. That's the one thing that they specialize in. So here's the interrupt, the message. A parent has got a child that's got a behavioral problem. They're searching on Google to see where they can find someone that can get, where they can get some help. And they land on this website. Are you sick and tired of the yelling, screaming, and belligerent attitude of your child? What do you think that person is going to say? Hell yes. Of course I am. So here's the engagement. Now you can discover the secret of controlling your child in and instantly restore peace and quiet in your home. Because when you've interrupted the client or the prospect, you're making him a promise with the engage element that there's more information coming. Just be patient. So do you think that this client that has just landed on this, that has got this problem that she doesn't want, looking for a solution that she needs and do not have, do you think she's going to click the red cross on the, on the, on the uh, what's name? I don't think so. Then we've got the educate element. There's a video and some text where we explain exactly what can happen. But here's the offer. Learn the secret to gaining and maintaining complete control of your child in less than 60 seconds. Enter your first name and enter your email address. 
and now remember this you're going to create a prospect on a lead magnet by giving something for free in return for them to give you a magazine or a leaflet or information that is relevant to the problem that they're having but if you can see on this is there's no phone number there's no book a consultation because what is the purpose of lead generation is to generate a lead that you can follow up in your own follow-up processes not to do the sale that's a completely different issue is how do you close the sale so here is how do you create that market dominating position so if you look at the two if you look at the two of them which one do you think has outperformed the other i think we both we all agree that it will be the one on the right and i can tell you now that the one on the right, the first month that we launched it, generated over 300 leads, of which 60 of them downloaded the, the, uh, um, the PDF document, and they closed 12 in the first month. And they've been doing that continuously ever since that is the power of this framework by using strategic positioning and messaging to create a market dominating position okay but what does people other people say about this and here we have a lovely guy called james watoff who is a psychologist who's helping businesses create the right mindset so that they can thrive within their business and here's what jeff what uh, uh, charles has had to say i attended anton's mastery program and without doubt it was the most illuminating inspiring and value-driven marketing course i've ever done it will change your view on marketing you build your confidence and accelerate your business growth highly recommend it Charles was one of those that has spent a fortune on marketing. He spent a fortune on courses and everything, and he never had the results. And I'm proud to say that with what we have done with him and helped him through his business, he's absolutely thriving. Okay, Joe Adams. Okay, I attended Anton's mastery course. Anton is not only insightful, provides priceless knowledge, he shares his experience, in an inspiring manner this course has been the most valuable course i've ever taken i walk away with decades of knowledge i would never have gotten otherwise i would encourage everyone and uh, anyone to take part in the course as it covers many areas that can be applied in business and in life in general joe is also thriving right now in her um in what she's doing okay so why this lead generation formula is vital to understand is 90 percent of business owners will never know this formula they will never know the formula or the strategies or the framework to generate leads consistently without spending any money on marketing or advertising they'll never know this if this formula is missing in your in the foundation of your business you will find yourself struggling to generate leads and to increase your revenue because you have to have a systematic process in everything that you do to grow and to scale your business. And this is one of the main reasons why we lose on average 30,000 small businesses per year in this country. And especially now with the economic climate that we're having and the FSB predicted we're going to lose 250,000 businesses over the next 24 months. This is why you have to use this. Because you need to know how your prospect thinks. And guys, marketing is there to solve a problem. You are the one who has the solution. 
And if you don't communicate that to, the, to your prospect, your ideal customer, how are they going to do business with you? Okay, so you will not fail because you have this opportunity to make a choice and to change how you implement your lead generation process, how you structure it, because now you have information that 90% of other people will never have. Now, I wanna show you why does this framework work, okay? Now, the one thing that I am very, very, very proud of is the fact is that I will never teach anybody anything that I haven't tried myself. And before I even started teaching this to somebody, because one of my, one of my, my mentors and my, one of my coaches turned around and said to me, you are committing the sin of the desert. You have, to, you have to share this with small business owners. And you're doing them a disservice if you don't. Okay? But I had to make sure that it works for me. Okay, and I'm not, uh, what I'm about to show you, I'm not showing you to brag or anything, but I'm showing you that it worked for me and it can work for you. Okay, in October 2019, we've banked 23,000 pounds in coaching fees. In December, we banked 31,545 pounds in coaching fees. And then COVID struck. Like I said, I, we used to uh, um, coach mainly abroad. But trust me when I say to you, it wasn't always that way. Because just a few years ago, I was in exactly the same position that most small other small business owners are in today. So this works. And I wanted to show you this because it's proof that I'm, I'm, I'm doing this every single day. It's what I'm using every single day. So the reality of the current economic client is his business are failing because the lack of sustainable cash flow. And you cannot generate sustainable cash flow if you don't have leads. And if you don't have leads, like I said, you can't make sales, you can't make sales, you don't make revenue, you don't make cash flow and you don't make profit. So you've got to start at the foundation and that is generating leads. 67% of businesses do not get the professional help they need. They run out of uh, um, cash. And they fell within the first three years. Like I said, and I can't say it enough, the reality is no leads, no sales, no revenue, no profit. And it result, the result is catastrophic because we have business owners that is really working hard, but they never get off that breadline where they are on the brink of failure. I know some of you guys, I've been there where I couldn't even afford to get ill because if I get ill, I can lose my business. This has changed my life and it can change your life. According to the FSB, we're going to lose 500,000, 250,000 businesses in 2021. I don't think we're going to do that much, but over the, maybe over the next two years. You don't have to be one of them. It's your choice whether you want to thrive or you want to just survive. And I want to present you with an opportunity to make that choice. You can continue as you are getting the same results or you can make a change and take action and transform your business and your life. Okay, and my goal is straightforward, is I wanna help serious business owners generate more clients, close more deals, increase overall revenue, and profits quickly and inexpensively. That's my goal. But sometimes we come to a crossroads where we have to make a decision. Which way am I gonna go? My life absolutely turned around when I took the opportunity to spend one day with JT Fox. I don't have the money to buy his programs. But I became resourceful. 
and I used other resources to help me get where I want to get. And that's when I got a coach who helped me to implement those things that JT showed me and how to implement that in my business. Okay. Here's a, here's a guy that I've been working with for quite a few years. Um, Jason is called the Final Jedi. Absolutely amazing guy. He's also a qualified commercial pilot. And I've worked with Anton for several years now, and his ability to ask astounds me. Anton's philosophy is if you haven't gotten your desired results yet, you haven't tried any everything yet, and he'll absolutely find you the path or die trying. That is true. That's what I will do. If you want motivational drive to get your results, Anton has seen it all and done it all. Very good friend of mine now, Jason. Right. Okay. So I want to introduce you real quick to an opportunity that um, is available to you called the Lead Deal Mastery A-Day Challenge. It's a challenge where we're basically going to teach you over five days, we're going to teach you how to create a market dominating position, how to implement joint ventures and strategic partnership strategies, how to implement a drip campaign, upsell, cross sell, and downsell, how to create compelling messages that your market responds to, how to stop discounting, start bundling, and social media marketing training on Facebook, LinkedIn, focus on lead generation, and how to implement scorecard marketing strategy that generates leads and produce results. Okay. So you are going to learn a proven, tried and tested systematic process, how to implement cash flow producing campaigns consistently in order for you to completely dominate your marketplace. Okay. And the results generating more leads, more conversions and increase your revenue and profits. But I need one promise from you and that is 100% commitment and 100% action. Now, here's the thing. Remember I told you earlier You've got to basically just write down some of these things that we've talked about and how you think this can improve your own business and how it will look if you just, just if you implement them. Let me show you if you focus on profit. So I don't know your business. Okay. I really don't know your business. Um, but I use a baseline of what we've got here. Now, I want to show you if you can improve that by 10%, just a measly 10%. Okay, your total revenue that you've got here has gone from 250,000 to 365,000. On 20%, 30%, and 50%. That's what you can do. Now, if you look at what Jeff Norton has said, which is one of our students who's actually done this, in the middle of a pandemic, we see when uh, um, everyone else was cutting up, uh, you know, cutting as much expenditure as possible, they actually decided to spend money. And the program we, we choose was the Head Smart Marketing Mastery. Through this program, Anton opened our eyes to the world of professional marketing uh, that made the program stand out. But the one thing in his testimonial that is of great uh, uh, um, you know, joy to me is that since completing the masterclass at the end of 2020, our business has gone from strength to strength. And in the last five months of 2021, we generated more income than we did in the whole of 2020. And we predict to achieve our annual target three months ahead of schedule. And they also won an award as a digital training company of the year in 2021. Now, here's the thing, guys, is that, you know, you, you cannot get access. We don't, we don't sell this program. And, but let me, before I do that, let me, let me just real quick um, give you this to take away with you. The path to success is to take massive determined action. And you cannot wish yourself a success or take the ordinary path if you want to lead an extraordinary life. You have the opportunity right now to take massive action that will radically transform your business and your life. Okay, so right, this is our flagship program. It's by application only. 
Okay, Lita Deal Mastery A Day Challenge. It's November the 29th until December the 8th. Okay, if you want more information and um, then if you're interested in learning more about the challenge, I would suggest that you book a call with me, um, a 30 minute discovery call with me. And what we will do then is we will go through everything to see whether you are a good fit for us. And if you are, then you've got a decision to make. If you aren't, then we will basically tell you that you, you, you know, you're not a good fit for us at this moment in time. Um, and that is it. Okay, that is it. That is the opportunity that you have to make a fundamental change in your business. Fundamental change. And uh, um, and yeah, I I wish every one of you a, a wonderful day. And uh, if you want to book a call with me, there's the URL. I will leave that up there um, for now. So if anybody has got any questions, um, you know, now's the time to uh, to ask them. I'm here to answer any questions. Okay, well, it doesn't look like anybody's got any questions. So uh, I will stop sharing my screen. And, uh, um, and that's it. So uh, um, thank you very much for your, uh, for your attendance, guys. I uh, am looking forward in seeing you um, hopefully soon. Right. I'll be I'll be thank you very much. Um, thank you so much as well. Um for that, you know, uh, message or the knowledge should be part. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very thank much. You. Take Keep care. Bye-bye.